Do you want to upgrade to a new Wi-Fi mesh router without reconnecting all of the devices that is already connected to your old Wi-Fi router? Watch this video and I will show you how to upgrade to a new Wi-Fi mesh router without reconnecting one by one to all your devices to your new Wi-Fi router. It's one simple step that you're just gonna set this new Wi-Fi mesh router. As soon as you set this up, all your devices that's connected to your old router will connect to your new router without reconnecting it one by one. So I will show you how. Hello guys, welcome back to Always Mobile Canada's YouTube channel. So today I am going to upgrade my Wi-Fi router. I have this uh, mesh router since 2017. This is the Orbi Netgear. It's a RBR50. This internet speed throws 600 Mbps download speed. This mesh router has two satellites, one in my basement and the other one in the garage. My uh, internet provider is Bell and I have this 1 Gbps internet speed. This is the Wi-Fi router of Bell but what I did to this is as a modem. This is my modem and my Wi-Fi router is this Orbi mesh router. Why am I going to upgrade it? It's because I am subscribing for 1 Gbps and this is only 600 mbps download speed but because i have the 1 gbps actually it's 918 mbps but it's uh, 1 gbps as what they said it's connected via fiber optic cable so anyway it's because the in my internet speed is fast this is only 600 mbps download speed but it gives me 800 plus almost 900 i have a lot of connected devices on this mesh router i am now going to upgrade to orbi this is the tri-band mesh wi-fi 6 system but first if you have the old router the satellite already the mesh router and you're just gonna upgrade it to the new router what you have to do is uh, disconnect all your satellite and your old wi-fi router before setting up your new router but what I'm going to do first is open this uh, box first. What I have here. So this will be the main router. It has three ethernet output and then one internet for uh, link aggregation. And then this is the satellite. There's a two satellite here. Two satellite power adapter. Make sure that when you are going to plug your power adapter, each power adapter belongs to the to let's say this one here it says router this is for router and this is for the satellite now i'm going to unplug this old router anyway if you're going to use the wi-fi router of the internet provider make sure that you're going to connect it to lan one so now i disconnected my old orbi router i'm going now to connect my new wi-fi 6 the orbi mesh router when you're going to set this new router the mesh router on the on your old orbi what you're going to do is go to your orbi app open your orbi app and then go to the add satellite or set up a new orbi system so what you're going to click here is set up a new Orbi system. Click the get started. Oh, scan QR code on your Orbi sleeve or, or base. So uh, set up Orbi manually if you prefer or enable camera and scan. So enable camera and scan. So let's uh, scan this. It's more faster if you're just gonna scan it there you'll be prompted to connect to this network shortly so click continue so locate your modem locate the modem supplied by your isp disconnect any devices that are connected to it what says here locate the modem supplied by your isp and uh, disconnect any devices that are connected to it so click continue so unplug your modem unplug the power supply it's unplugged already and then click continue plug in your modem plug the modem plug in the modem's power supply and wait for lights to turn on as before okay so we are going to plug the modem back and then let's wait for it until okay, it's loading now so now it's uh, all connected 
I am going to plug in my Orbi. So do not plug in your satellite yet. Okay, now I'm going to plug in my Orbi. When you plug your Ethernet cable, you plug it to the yellow. It says internet. And then plug in your Orbi. Okay, so now it's plugged in. So it's then press co click continue. So it says here, now it's flashing. So now it's flashing white. Your Orbi will blink white while starting up before turning solid white. So we'll wait. Uh, it says here, this may take three to five minutes. So now it's LED is solid white. So click that. So now connecting to Wi-Fi. So join Orbi network. You may be prompted to save this network in order to, for your Orbi app to join Orbi 88 if prompted tap save otherwise proceed by following on the screen instruction okay we click okay, connect to wi-fi so for you guys not to reconnect all your devices one by one what you're going to do is use your old wi-fi network name and then your old password okay so now create Okay, so wait a few minutes while we make sure that your mobile device is connected to or to, to the Wi-Fi network. After that, I am going to connect the Orbi satellite, which is way easier. Okay, up and running now. It looks like everything is up and running. Tap next button below to finish setting up. Okay. So it will ask you if uh, the satellite is plugged in. So they're plugged in. I already plugged this in. Okay, discovering satellites. So it's up and running now, and then uh, we'll see. It looks like everything is up and running. And okay, so now it's uh, connected, as you can see. Yeah. So I have this. Uh, this is the RBR seven fifty now. So. Devices Online Manager, it's connected as you can see. Loading devices, they're all connected. Yeah, they are all connected now. So, okay, uh, we are going to uh, check the internet speed now because I have the 1 Gbps internet connection. So let's try. Okay, now the download speed is 937 Mbps and the upload speed is 941 Mbps. It's way easier. You don't need to reconnect one by one all your devices that's been connected to your old Wi-Fi router. All you have to do is after setting it up before you finalize saving it or before saving the Wi-Fi name and password on your new router what you are just going to do is the name of your wi-fi name on your new wi-fi router you have to use the old wi-fi name in your old uh, wi-fi router to your new wi-fi router and the password is exactly the same from your old wi-fi router to your new wi-fi router so that all your devices will recognize the wi-fi name and password no more reconnecting one by one to your devices it's a uh, time consuming especially if you're a busy person like me this is the way that you're going to do setting up your new wi-fi mesh router and it's not that hard it's so easy if you are going to look for this kind of uh, wi-fi router click the link down the description below and you will find it there i hope you like this video guys and i hope this uh, video helps on how you're going to set up your new Wi-Fi mesh router without reconnecting your devices to your new router one by one. It's easy and it really saves you a lot of time by not reconnecting your devices one by one to your new Wi-Fi router. Okay guys, thank you guys for watching. I hope you are going to subscribe on this channel. Uh, I hope you like this video. Please subscribe. Have a great day guys. Thank you.